or three between NXPE and Blacklist International. Let's go to the land of Gone. It is indeed H2 on that lane and Donut on a gold lane, Sicilian. Man, you know what? Whatever happened, sobrang masaya lang tum na makita na kahit may pinagdaanan, may dinadaanan, na susubukan mo talaga lahat, ibigay lahat sa ano, para sa team mo. At hindi lang ito para sa team eh, oh. para sa bansa eh. Again, kung sino ma mananalo dito at the end of our Sea Ball 2022 National Team Selection Tournament ay madadagdag sa pool ng Sea Ball players natin. And you gotta respect, no matter who you support uh, as a team, this kind of dedication, uh, despite all of what you're going through, you're still in the game, man. Yeah, and right now, no, Yelly Hayes a uh, little bit low on the HP side. Great aggression coming in from Oh My Venus. And we are looking at a Haji Edith pick na nakita na natin in action yesterday. Really great on this Edith pick. I feel like one of the first few pro players in the country to actually have that Edith in his pocket picks right now in the current meta. Oh. Dominic pala ang gagamit. Of course, na ating makita, but first blood will go to the Sicilian with H2O burning that Tempest of Blades. Next play, Ibos na naman ang makakakuha ng first blood. Let's start here for NXP, but again, they have to amp up this tempo. Kaya importante na nakuha nila yung first blood. Again, this is an Aldous that they're up against. Not even the late game Aldous, it's an early game Aldous kung nakamay ni Wise. One and only. But he's in position and Yeah, Blacklist looking to end this turtle, pero pressure pabalik dito sa NXP. Retri battle, masesecure ni Wise. Nice ultimate coming in kay Venus. Apple Tisha with the guiding wind. Walang mamamatay in that fight. But the turtle will be going to the hands of Blacklist International. That is the game so far, close game. Donut, 2 minutes and 40 seconds in, already has that Clock of Destiny. It's a really, really fast build. Parang sa COD. Already, of yeah, course, and... yeah, staying in the gold lane, uh, less gold requirement. Uh, mas mabili siya makaka-build ng items dito. And that means, nakaka-maximize talaga siya ng mga last hits dun sa siege, min uh, sa, uh, siege minions and just the minions in general sa lane niya. Yeah, and it is a uh, very, let's say, you the bats impact is very useful in terms of last hit thing, no? Pero Cadenza overextending near the gold thing. Di na nga tumingin si Brody, pre. Fumade away na lang si Aul. <laughs> Fade away basic attack from the Brody. And now, even ball game. Pero malapit pa rin ang gold, Black is Infernatus, at nakuha nila yung unang turtle of the game. Of course, they'll have the slight lead, Oreshi versus Dominic in the x -Blade. Yep, Oreshi regening a little bit of damage there. And that's just a power oh. range job, but this is a 2v4. Parating na rin si Venus. Here comes the contact case by Haji Boy pa rin, as low in the first. Ultimate coming in, real world manipulation, H2 gold. Masasa pa ni Del Rosario. And that is just two kills going to the hands of Blacklist International. Mukhang kukuha pa sila ng plating dito sa cold lane. A quick and punishing rotation and response from Blacklist International. Good attempt by Next Play Evos to get more kills there. But this is why we're seeing Brody as one of the top picks right now in the scene. Yung second skill stun niya talaga. Sobrang malaking bagay. And paired up with the great reaction of Haji. Talik him up to get in to the playing field. Of course, on my Venus, great timing as well for the real world manipulation. What 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 looked like to be a good chance for NXP looked oh, like Haji, a better response for Blacklist. Apple Fisher coming in with Circling Eagle, but Eden is just being a little bit of 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 a little one for one trade, beautiful setup there para kay Kenneth Castro Cadenza getting that initial ejector toss to open up that one for one trade for next play Evos. Sure, next play Evos would have gotten, uh, would have been happier to get out of that na 1-0 in bis na naging trade, but at this point, they'll just be happy being able to get kills to keep themselves close into the game. As five minutes in, getting close to a 2,000 plus gold lead, getting close to 3,000. Ang gold lead dito ng Blacklist International. And Shannon Talisman picked up by Apple Pisha. 
turtle is already up as well. Blacklist International, four people around that turtle. Meron silang na-established na pressure dito. Pwedeng-pwede nilang gulatin ang NXPE. Now, Dominic, makikita si Ureshi. Hindi siya mananock up. And now, Ureshi is really low. And this is really bad for Next Play Evos considering the Blacklist International would want to take this turtle for themselves. H2O looking for a steal here. Would go for the pinch, boys. Avoid Crystal Slow coming in from Venus. Real world manipulation to zone out all of the members of Next Play Evos. And this is a free turtle, turtle coming in for Blacklist International. Oh. Another fade away coming in from the Brody. And that's two kills. No, three kills for Owl as they try to take down the mid lane. Oh, uh, could be another one for Denzel. Oh, no. One more. Is it Tadama? The Slinger! Later in, coming in from Venus will finish him off. And hey, now, H2 will take a little bit of damage. Pero yun na yung trade. Nalamang naman ng Black Wizard National. 4,000 now is the gold lead. NXT. Of course, doing what they can to play safe, but they're just getting surprised by Blacklist International using and committing flickers to just get setups for their abilities. Tempest of Blade oh, Force now gone wide! Finishes off H2, and then Rosario once again with a one man punch. Blue now Team Blacklist has been International destroyed. now ahead. Del Rosario finishing off the kill there on to Salonga. Dominic Delicado in half of beat on Lagronio. Yeah, Pureshi in front of four people. Delicado, Kaid Malakin Dragon. Here comes the real world manipulation. Oh. A lot of damage down, but nice Sanguine Claws oh. coming in from Donut. Mega kill na naman kay Brody Owl. dito. 4-1-3. Owl is dealing so much damage. Blacklist International now ahead by 6,000 gold. 4-1-3 for Lee Howard Gonzalez. Nagwawala na ang Brody ng Blacklist International. Next play, Evos. Nakita mo, sinusubukan nila... Ano eh, ibagalin on tayo yung tempo. Try to get a little bit more control back. Things are starting to get out of hand. Pero out of nowhere, Blacklist International individually po would pull out plays. NXPE, tingnan natin kung makakapag-depensa sila. And if they can hold on to get a little bit more control of the game. Hinanap din nila mga possibilities na baka makasplit po si H2 para dito sa purple. Oh no! Blue team hero oh. has Na huli pa nga si Apple Pisha pero si Haji that's a lot of damage coming in from the back speeds and the impact pero puno na ang kanyang rat stacks ni respeto ito yung next play Evo they're gonna give Red out the turtle once again the turtle. to Blacklist Blue International as the lead grows more and more in favor of Blacklist Good news here for NXP Evo mukhang sumasakit na din talaga ang damage ng Cecilia nila Donut here is gonna be the X Factor at this point in the game Good minion wave management. Maklir lang yung mga minion waves para paglalaban ng Blacklist International mas malapit sa base. Oh, Kadenza with the ejector. Dominic on the back line. He was making sure. Maraming matatamaan pero unang babansak ang isang miembro ng Blacklist International. It's a 4-4-1 at ikakancel ang contract chase fate. Next day, Evos finally getting a 1-4-0 trade. Castro with the pick off on to Soto. That ejector to start everything off. And great play there by Next Play Evos. Blue team Being able to dance around, destroyed. avoid the damage they needed to avoid. And good call there by Wise to cancel the chase bait. Could have been a kill for Oreshi, pero delicado na yun, sa loob na yun ng bait. Oh, yung Cadenza going in for the conceal play, no? Pero medyo na telegraph agad ng Blacklist International. Now, topside H2 going for the split push. Considering na wala pa pala silang tore na nakukuha, this is really bad for next play Evos. They need to make sure that they alleviate some map pressure by taking turrets. Al with the Hunter Strike now. Uy! Blacklist International can still play by Haji, pero nakita ng next play Evo. Yep, and purple buff, maaagaw mula sa Ling. H2, oh! medyo nalila. Nagkaroon ng CCJ, nagbagsak na nga si Dan Gonzalonga. And now Ureshi going into the back line. Ang dami niyang tinatakil na damage. Look at the damage coming in from the Brody. Store na part memory, nagalit na. Pero si Bata Anon, ang sunod ng Blacklist International. And now two people are down for next play Evo's Blacklist. They're looking to push mid lane. Oh, Haji goes in with the knock-up combo. Don't not delicado at hindi 
siya makakagante ng return kill even with the bats impact landing defensa naghahanap ng play pero wala na siyang damage dealer na kasama doors sinisimulan ng Blacklist International at mukhang makukuha ng lead Great positioning and timing for Haji back to back great crowd control pick off yung dun sa may purple buff ni H2 kung saan niya sinubukan mag finch poise tumalang dun sa pader para ma ma makalapit siya para ma retry niya yung purple buff niya Haji nakabantay na nakita niya nag charge up na siya nung uh, nung stun niya yung knock up niya and mid air or just when he was about to land on the wall na tamaan Stopping that, knocking up H2, opening up the burst damage and the crowd control chain. Then Blacklist International is marching with the Lord. And look at this, the damage coming in from real world manipulation. You gotta respect that zone. That's one the inhibitor third down for next day. Evo's mid lane already open. But nice clear speed coming in for NXPT, taking down that Lord. The two inhibitor turret lamang ang nakuha ng Blacklist International. Pero napakalaki na po ng ating gold lead. 11,000 ang gold lead ng Blacklist International 11 minutes in. At medyo bad just yun para sa NXPE. Ang tanging ini intay na lamang nila ay ang damage na nanggagaling kay Donut. Yeah. Now Blacklist have full control of the NXP EVOS jungle. Alam nila gaano kaimportante ang purple buff para sa ling ni H2. Three man positioning. Now gonna be four. Pero I think meron na may nakita din si H2. So konting galaw. Tignan natin. Here's the conceal play. play. Mula kay Haji, nagahanap ng target, nanak up dito si H2, Tempest of Blades, ginamit para makabili ng 40 Horas. Pero inig turret muna ang inatake ng Blacklist International. Here comes the Torn Apart Memory. Wala siyang mapapatay na isa, pero lima pa rin ang buhay para sa side ng Blacklist International. Ang face na atang sa Lord Ureshi. Napakalow na ang kanyang HP. Nabalibag dito si Owl. At si Owl matatama ng Sir Tee. sa backside, shutdown. Manggagaling dito. Kaya po yung siya, pero babagsak din siya with the Greenworld Manifestation. The double kill for Zed Rosalio. Yan when it is! National in Game 3 Ooh. goes to Blacklist International a sweep against next play Eagles.